They are trying to fool you. They are trying to take your Bitcoin. Guys, today I'm going to show you something extremely important because what you're watching right now is whales actually playing the market. Whales controlling what's happening here. And we're going to talk about our favorite Bitcoin whale here as well. This is a good whale, but a lot of bad whales are lurking there in the oceans as well. Guys, today we are going to discuss this. This is a video you will not want to miss out on. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell because yeah, this is going to be a very, very important video because what you're seeing right now is not, you know, the end of the bull market. What I think we're watching right now is actually the last shakeout before we are going up further. And I will explain this. I will back this up with data. So first things first, let's go to the one hourly chart here. And obviously we did break down from my big orange box here. So what happened yesterday on the one hourly time frame? we saw some very, very strong sell pressure here. Something was pressuring the Bitcoin price down here. You can see that the first time we went into the orange box on the one hourly time frame, we did find support and we had a bounce, but then just a sheer amount of volume continued to press Bitcoin down below this. You can see, look at these candles. They, these are very high volume candles here on the uh, one hourly time frame. Okay, so we went down and then the bulls fought back. So the bulls fought back. We uh, got a nice little rally here, but right at the edge of my orange box, we were not able to break through this. So the bears were able to defend this area. We tried one, two, three, four, five times. We tried five times to get above and establish ourselves above the orange box here again. Unfortunately, we did not manage to do that and we continued down. And uh, yeah, we were at this point right here, made another try. The bulls made another try to try to break through the orange line and the edge of the orange box here. One, two times getting rejected further down. And then we made a new try just a couple of hours ago here getting rejected again. So I have to be honest with you guys, at this point, it's looking likely since we're not managing to even, you know, break into this orange box here. It's looking likely that we might see some more downside here for Bitcoin. So maybe 55 and then you have the big support level down here at 51,500. I'm not selling Bitcoin at this point and I am going to explain why. I do believe that we are seeing whales play the market right now, because if you look at something like the traditional markets, OK, you got a you know, red candle right here, but still we are at all time high proximity here on the traditional market. Okay. This is a, this is just unfolding right now, this big red candle here. So we will see where this is going to end. This probably means also that Bitcoin is right now going down pretty. Yeah. So Bitcoin is going down. This is uh, the traditional markets actually on the four hourly time frame, whereas this is on the, hold up. This is on the one hour time frame. So if we go to the four hour right here, we can see that on the four hourly time frames, also, you know, big, big pushes into the orange box here, not managing to break through this. Nonetheless, something is bringing down Bitcoin. And is it the traditional markets? No, because they are still at the proximity of the all time high. So something else is pushing down Bitcoin. And I want to show you a clip from uh, a couple of weeks ago where I talked about the Bitcoin whale ratio. So this is the Bitcoin whale ratio. We are going to get back to this, but uh, the video I posted uh, a couple of, it was actually the 7th of November, I talked about the Bitcoin whale ratio here. At the same video, I talked about how I was expecting, you know, Bitcoin to do very well from the 25th of November and, you know, after that. But in order for you to understand what I'm uh, going to explain in this video, we need to watch a short little clip where I talk about the Bitcoin whale ratio and why you should be cautious about this. Again, this was posted on the 7th of November. And uh, yeah, let's just watch this and we are going to get back to today's video after. So my fear right now is that what if the whales are preparing for this? What if? No, you have to still be cautious about this right here. So maybe the whales are aware of this and they are trying to play uh, all of us. So that's the one thing to be cautious about. But I'm just hoping that the sheer amount of people who are going to enter crypto uh, during November, that that is going to be enough to absorb whatever selling pressure by the whales here. So that was the video I posted seven, uh, November 7th. And this ratio 
was looking like this, okay? So the, the Bitcoin whale ratio is a ratio showing us how much of the supply on the exchanges is owned by whales. And what you can see is that after that video, remember I made it right here, after that video we saw, you know, continued uh, pressure from the whales transferring Bitcoin to the exchanges and in fact reached an all-time high here uh, a couple of days ago only. So if you were watching this, just like I said in my previous video, this would have acted as a very good warning to all of you. But what is this telling us? Well, it's basically telling us that a lot of whales were transferring Bitcoin to the exchanges, possibly to shake out the last people before I do believe we are going to go on a big run here on the 25th of November because everyone are bullish in November, right? Everyone are bullish on in, in December for Bitcoin moving further. So yeah, they're trying to get that last shake out. They are trying to get the people who are, you know, over, uh, over leveraging themselves. And if we look at the on-chain data here, you can see that the number of addresses uh, holding, well, this is 10,000 Bitcoin, but let's begin with 100 Bitcoin. And you can see that since, you know, October here, the amount of wallets holding 100 Bitcoin has been going down. Now, just to put this into perspective, so you can see 16,210 Bitcoin here. Right now, we are at 16,104. So that's about 100 Bitcoin. Now, 100 Bitcoin, let's assume that the wallet goes to zero. 100 Bitcoin being sold at an average of $60,000. So let's do the math. 100 Bitcoin times $60,000 is obviously $6 million. But then you have that times 100 because it went down from 16,200 down to 16,100 basically. So times 100, that's 60 or 600 million worth of selling pressure. Assuming, you know, the wallets uh, with 100 Bitcoin uh, were selling all of their Bitcoin, which is not likely, of course, but it just gives you an estimate of possible selling pressure. So let's go to the next one. This is the Bitcoin held by people who have 1000 Bitcoin. You can see that since the uh, end of September here, moving into October, this has gone down from 2,176 down to 2,161. So I don't know, about 15 people or so. And again, 15 people. Let's assume that they sell all of the Bitcoin they hold, which is 1,000 Bitcoin, 15 times 1,000 Bitcoin is obviously 15,000 Bitcoin times the price at $60,000. It's $900 million, okay? So again, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, when this drops, this statistic drops on the on-chain data, it just means that it went from uh, over 1,000 Bitcoin down to below 1,000 Bitcoin. And it's even a range. So, you know, when this drops, it can drop from anywhere between uh, 1,000 to 9,999, which is the next bracket here. So, I mean, it's hard to estimate the selling pressure, but one thing we can know for sure is that it is a lot, assuming that the Bitcoin was transferred into exchanges to be sold, which the Bitcoin whale data is suggesting here. So how about our own whale? Well, this whale, as you know, tends to accumulate at the support levels and he has been doing that as well. So at 59,888 and then added another 700 Bitcoin at 60,500, added another five or 484 Bitcoin at 57,000. So, I mean, the Bitcoin whale, the biggest Bitcoin holder, that is, uh, you know, public at least that we know of is accumulating at these boxes. And I'm assuming that he is going to continue to accumulate Bitcoin as we go down here. And uh, definitely here in the orange box at 51, should we get there, I believe he's going to accumulate there as well. So all in all, what am I trying to say with this video? I do believe that the data is showing us here that the selling pressure right now is not coming from retail investors. It's not coming from long-term holders or anything like that. What's happening is that whales are transferring people or transferring uh, Bitcoin to the exchanges, trying to spook people. They are trying to get that last shakeout because I do believe that they also know that, uh, or I do believe that they believe that we are going to go into a run here in November and December. That's just my opinion. As you know, I am still going to stick by my thesis that the 25th and after that, we are going to see some nice pumps in Bitcoin. So we will see guys, we will see. My trade over on Bybit, obviously I got wrecked on this one. So we had seven in a row before we had a bad trade here. 
So uh, yeah, it happens. At least I'm transparent with it. It sucks, but it happens. And uh, hopefully we can get another you know, six, seven profitable, very profitable trades here before we uh, go into the next uh, claim or mine here. <laughs> so uh, yeah. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.